Hello, Hello everyone. everyone! Another week, another free game from Epic! And a big one this time! This time it's Europa Universalis 4! And that's a game that we didn't get yet for free from Epic Game Store. Because this is a historical, it looks like a turn based but it is actually real-time historical strategy economic game with a possibility to pause game at any time so you can choose all the necessary tasks and continue and to see how your civilization evolves. That pause button is really important because there are a lot of options in this game. We haven't had many strategy games from Epic. This is hardcore strategy. This game. is the biggest, probably the biggest, most expansive most strategy complex. game. Most complex. Yeah, because Definitely. it is the whole world from 1444 to 1821. You can start at any time as any kingdom, any, any empire, any, any civilization, any duchy, any... Yeah, uh, even anything. as an Indian tribe in America. So as you go through the years, the makeup of the different civilizations actually changes according to the history of those regions. And that means that you realize very quickly that the world is a very complicated place over the centuries. Like I have a degree in history and still looking at the map of all these different civilizations I'd never heard of, it's incredibly complex right from the beginning and that's before you open the menus. Well, with your kingdom, you can change uh, your way through the history, but the history itself doesn't change so much. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it keeps it very realistic and believable. So don't expect any fantasy. This is not Total War Warhammer. This is a really, as Michal said, hardcore history simulator where you get to make your own story, but in a very grounded, very realistic and very tough environment. And this is all based on one map, huge map that you can zoom a lot and in really a lot, but you don't get anything else. You don't get like uh, once you battle, it's on the map. You don't get into battles like three dimensional. Everything is on the map, mm -hmm. map two dimensional as it is. And on that map, you will try to expand your influence, expand your territory in three different categories, political power, economic power and military power. And it would be possible to kind of achieve your goals with just one of those, but probably you're gonna to wanna to balance them and expand sometimes diplomatically, sometimes economically, and sometimes just charge in there and burn down their villages and walls. But alliances with other kingdoms is really important but because in this whole world you cannot do everything yourself and you can't just go out with the army and kill everyone. That's not possible. Well, we this tried. Is, it didn't, didn't we go We tried well. and yeah. ended in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you have like, so many options which, within each of those three categories. Sending, sending missionaries, sending merchants, sending diplomats, like diplomatic marriages, spies, assassins, like so many different things. Basically, it's like you are the king of your own little kingdom and anything that you could imagine doing in the real world, you can probably find a way to do it in this game. And first thing you're gonna experience in this game is tutorials, to be exact, three chapters of tutorials, which each one has under chapters. So there's a lot to learn in this game. And maybe that will be one of the factors that some of you guys might just drop this game because it's too complex, the tutorial is too long, and we usually go to should you play it, but this time we're gonna make an exception because we, we find out that we're not able to play this game uh, for just one week or two weeks and review it, we would have to spend a lot more time in it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we wouldn't be able to continue other free games so this time we're not gonna say if you should play it or not we're gonna just say maybe if you are into hardcore historical strategy games and you, if you're really fun of it because this is mm, maybe it looks close to civilization but it's 
it's a lot different. It is, yeah. It's it feels a lot harder to get into. It's probably, I'm sure, it's much more in depth, and you could spend a lot more time on it if you get into it. But it's going to take a lot more time to get into it. So if you're a huge fan of history and you're looking for a game that you could spend tens, maybe hundreds of hours on creating your own history with a historical kingdom, this is definitely the game for you. And as Mikhail said, if the idea of spending three to four or five hours just learning to play mm -hmm. it, yeah. if that like discourages you, it's pretty clear this is not the yeah. game for you. The visuals are very minimalistic and it's really more about your thoughts than the real game because you're gonna spend most of your time in the different tabs, like pointing to different things. Mm. I'm really intrigued by the idea because like, I'm yeah. a big fan of history. It was really interesting for me to see like a map of all these different civilizations and kingdoms mm -hmm. and how they would interact. So if I was at a time of my life when I had dozens of free hours to play it, I'm sure I would be more pro. But now that we don't have that amount of time to really yeah. see if it is as good as what it promises, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm intrigued, but as Mikhail said, I'm not yeah. able to give a, a clear answer on if you should play it. And I wonder, there are like 34 DLCs? Wow, this is really a huge game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you get into it, maybe yeah. you'll never need another game. <laughs> maybe. So guys, we want you to tell us if... Should we should play we it? play it? <laughs> it's the first time. Yeah. It's the very first time that, we, that we, we're not going to give you a straight answer. We admit defeat. Yeah. It's too big. Yeah, it's it, too complex. Yeah, we're defeated. We're defeated and we're going to uh, live on defeated. That's okay. So well, sometimes we, uh, the life defeats you and... You should... That's okay. You should move on. Retreat to play another day. Yeah. And we will. Play there, another game. There will be more free games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the first time in about 200 free games that we have not been able to play <laughs> enough to review 200 it. years. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like that a little yeah. bit. But, and we but, hope that there will be another 200 free games that we can review and actually tell you clearly yeah. if you should play it, if it's worth your time. But for this one, we're asking you, who have played it, to tell us what you think about yeah. it. Should you play it? Tell us your answer. Yep. And hopefully see you in another video. Take care. See you. Bye. Bye. The worst review ever. Well, it's not a review, so it can't be the worst. <sighs> okay. We were review so bad, it stopped being a review. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. We're recording all of this, you know. <laughs> For our biographer. <laughs> For our backstage video, huh? Mm -hmm. We didn't film a backstage video. This, we should just like we publish, publish we all of this. <laughs> Instead of review. Uh -huh. Ready? Ah, samurai! Ah, samurai! Shaka! Uh -huh. Hi! So that's the name! Hi! Hi! Let's do seppuku now! <laughs> I think we already started. Yeah. Just a long, slow <laughs> cut! <laughs>